Hi, I'm Ryan, and in this short video tutorial, I'm gonna explain how to use ClipChamp. This is a basic introductory video just to get you up and running. I'm gonna explain some things like the difference between the free version and the paid version, but I'm also really gonna focus on getting you up and running really fast. ClipChamp was purchased by Microsoft and it's now managed and it is a free utility that's available on both the Mac and the Windows machine, but there is a web version which I use. With the paid version, you do get some really nice upgrades like the ability to use your own fonts or typefaces, but you also get the ability to have cloud storage so that you can share your assets and use different machines. If you're using one single machine or on a, the web or on um, the desktop app, you are okay to use the free version. When you export it, ClipChamp gives you the ability to export without a watermark, like um, unlike most free video utilities. So I'm gonna give you the basic layouts. We're going to trim the front and the end of a video, and we're gonna be adding a title card to the front and the back of the video. Some people call them a logo sting or put the actual title of the video. I'm also going to show you how to do some basic transitions like fade in text and things like that. I'm going to be quick in this video, but let's get going with this introductory video to ClipChamp. There is a little bit you need to know about the home screen. So this is where you create an individual folder for your project. And your project can have its own little media assets like graphics, um, all types of imagery, uh, things that you want to use for that project. Maybe for my situation, I want to have an intro slide and an outro slide that says at the beginning what the video is, and at the end, it gives me a call to action, a CTA. Basically, I can funnel them. So I've created a couple projects here, and I'm going to select Project 2 to start from, a brand new project. There are templates and brand kits and a, other, a bunch of other things that you get with the premium account, and I'll explain that in a little bit, but we're going to focus in on the free one because that's really what I have. Now, I am logged in um, underneath my Gmail, not my Microsoft, what I use for Xbox. So I'm going to create a bit new video, and it's going to create sort of an empty desktop, an empty timeline, and I'm going to start importing media. The fastest way to import media is just to drag it in. So I dragged in my intro card. And then I want to drag in the clip of the skateboarding that I'm going to be using for the center. And I'm going to show you how to take off the front, take off the end, and then clip the middle. So you won't be left without anything like anything to do. You'll be good to go here. And we should be done here in a couple minutes. So I have my intro. I'm going to create text on that. And I'm going to clip the, um, the main clip. So right now, whether or not I did a demo or if I did... A, uh, I went out and shot myself, my vlog, like out in the forest. My main clip is what I want to drag to the center. Now, eventually you'll have, you could have potentially hundreds of these or 10 of them or whatever else. But right now for this matter, let's say you did a demo on Teams or Microsoft and you just want to clip it off. So you, at the beginning and end, there's two ways that you can edit it. I can go ahead and take this bracket and I can use the bracket and go left Drag, click and drag and I can trim it up. Okay, so I'm gonna hit undo here. It's just it's the same thing with option Z or command Z. Um, but another thing we can do in order to trim the beginning is I can go down and it automatically knows by scrubbing to a spot, then moving my cursor over the video that I can trim it there. So, but the difference is it left the beginning part and that's valuable in case you want to use it again. And I'll explain that in a second. So let's say at the very end, I just want to trim it. I'm going to select the little scissors as I hover over it. And now I have my ends trimmed. But let's say I said something in the middle of the clip that I really didn't like. I'm going to trim that section out by selecting a couple different um, trim spots here. And then I'm just going to cut that out. And then I'm going to click drag and move all of that together, both those two clips together. And now when I play it out, it's seamless and I lost that part of the video I didn't want. And I just did what's called a bump cut, which means I just went from one video to the other without the transition. 
Now, to add the intro cards, I'm gonna go back to my um, media here. It says your media. One thing I wanna note, tell you that your media is going to be for that project. If you go to a new project, you won't see the, this media here. So I'm gonna drag my intro card over down here. And this intro card is going to come in and I'm gonna rewind this all. So the intro card's gonna come in, okay? And then my video is going to play, okay? So, but I want a title in the center. And at the very end, I want to um, put the same clip at the very end. So what I could do is to see whether or not I can copy it and I can, and then I can potentially paste it. Edit paste, let's just see if this works. And it's really not giving me the option to do that and holding down my key isn't doing it either. So I'm just gonna drag that same outro clip here. Okay, so here's my outro clip. And now when I have my intro and outro, I'm gonna see what other things I can do with it with the free version. So if you look over here on the right, we have a bunch of different things. We have effects, okay? I wonder what I can do. I can make different stylistic effects. I can fade it in and out, which would be nice. So maybe let's say select this clip and go to fade and then fade out. Let's do that 0.5 seconds. So now when I play this clip, the intro card will fade out. And let's say this one I want to fade in. I'm gonna select that clip in the timeline and then I'm gonna select the fade and this time I'm gonna do fade in and there we go. So it's, I'm just gonna scrub through, plays the title and that's it. So now I wanna add some text right here, okay? But there's not enough room to add the text. So I'm kind of wondering what else I can do, all right? So I, I, oh, you know what I just saw? Something that I really want. So if I select this clip, I can select speed and I can double the speed, which I really wanted to do because it was a little on the slow side. And for this one, I'm gonna select speed and it opens up the property panel and I'm gonna go twice. So now everything's just a little bit faster. You may not like that, but I do. All right, so now we're gonna be going to text. We're gonna be adding text and we're going to be dragging the text to the desktop. The black, I'm gonna select the black and I'm just gonna put in video 01, okay? And so now, what happens is when I play it, my title sequence comes in, it says video one, and now I'm going to move my little trim markers back and forth, and I'm gonna add a fade in for the text by selecting fade, and I'm gonna to go to 0.5 seconds. So now what happens is when I scrub my scrubber back and I play it, then what happens is it fades in nicely, okay? So now if I selected this, so let's say that this intro background was too fast. When I select um, the speed, it remembers the speed. So I'm just gonna go down a little bit more, slow it down, and then I'm gonna move my little different parts. These are like Lego pieces. So now when I have this coming in, I see my intro back, maybe there's some music, then I put video one, hold, always hold text for about three seconds. And I am going to also out fade out my background um, with the by selecting it, going to fade, and it is faded. So I'm going to select my text, fade out 0.5 seconds. So there we go. So we're fade, now we're doing the outro scheme and video one. Hold it for three seconds. My content of my video or my demo. And now we're going into the end of the shot. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. And then once you hit export, I would go to 1080 and you can put it wherever you like. Let's go back for one second. I need to show you something really important. Up here at the top left, it's important to name your video. So I'm just gonna call this video 01 where I named it. So now when we go back into um, uh, the home screen, I will be able to see that that video was saved in that
project. All right, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video where I'm gonna go a little bit deeper dive into using ClipChamp. And I appreciate you watching. We'll see you in the next video.